Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard this comic on Sirius XM. He's a very funny cat. Give it up for Brian Chikaki, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. Can't ruin my mood, I'm in a good mood, man. I just got married this last year. Yeah. I met my wife on an internet dating site called I Can't Believe It Got To This dot com. Cool, we got some matches here. Cool, cool. Now, I did the internet thing for a little while because, like, I don't know, man, I was not a ladies' man in high school or college because I was kind of small. You'd never know it by looking at me. But the thing is, is like, it's a. That's a visual joke. All right, go. Cool. <laughs> Let's be honest, man. Women see small men differently. You do. You see small guys differently, and sometimes you say weird stuff to us. Like, a girl came up to me after a show one time. She's like, oh, my God, you are so cute. I want to put you in my pocket and feed you M&Ms. <laughs> <laughs> a weird thing to say to somebody, you know what I mean? Like, that's not a pickup line. That's like a, that's like a silence of the lambs kind of like, you know, thing. It's something you say to somebody, you know. My wife uh, moved into my apartment a few years ago and she brought a cat with her and I'm not really a cat person. Anybody here have cats, cat people, cats? Cool, four or five single women. All right, cool, the uh, thing is, no, the thing is, like, you know, and I don't like cats, man, but, like, I let the cat in, and it was... What pissed me off is she loved the cat way more than me, which was kind of insulting, because the cat was, like, 16 years old and didn't even meow right anymore, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I used to wander around my apartment, like, man, man, Like, she'd been smoking Lucky since she was a kitten, you know, man. <laughs> Someone clean up my litter box. <laughs> Coughed up a hairball like a week after moving in, which really freaked me out. Like, my only experience with cats and hairballs was like the Tom and Jerry cartoons. You know, it was a cute furry little ball, you can play with it, but that is not what happens in, in real life. And it threw me off, because cats are very graceful animals, man. I used to wander around my apartment like she was doing Project One Way, you know what I mean? Like, walked into my kitchen and suddenly this Pentecostal exorcism started coming over to cat. She hunkered over like James Brown, waiting for a hit, you know? And, and like, I don't know why they call it coughing up. Like, that's a polite term for demonic puking. She hocked up this phlegm ball, like alien pod wrapped in hair. I actually thought another cat was gonna come out of this thing. We'd have two cats, a wet one and a dry one, you know? And they make like a weird noise too. Like human beings, you can't tell someone's gonna throw up, but a cat will send you a signal they're about to do it. They make this sound, it's like <laughs> And then, you know, the floodgates are about to open up. You know what I mean? Like. No, and it's weird, because her cat's favorite thing to do was to throw up underneath my bed at 3 o'clock in the morning, which was like the worst thing to wake up from a peaceful slumber to... <laughs> and like, I don't want to clean that up during the day, let alone at 3 a.m., so I'd be like upset in denial. I'd be like, oh man, maybe she's not throwing up. Maybe she's listening to techno music on an iPod or something. You know? It's like... <laughs> I like sex, though. You guys like sex, man? Round of applause. Yeah. I mean, like sex with another person. You know, just like us. Let's be honest. Like masturbation's overrated. Wouldn't you say a little overrated? All right, maybe not in this room. All right. <laughs> a lot of big forearms up in here. It's like big old Popeye night here at Gotham Live. You know, it's like. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's like, that ain't Gold's Gym. That's like high-speed internet right there. That's you know so what. And like. Like, women are so much more classy than men when it comes to masturbation. You got all the toys and whatnot. Like, any ladies here have a friend in the drawer? A little friend? Like, that's a big yes right there. Like, I don't mean, I don't mean friends with benefits me, friends with batteries. We're on the same page here, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's like, and I actually, I don't understand what the vibration's all about. Like, I actually dated a woman one time who was like, you know, point blank with me. She's like, just so you know, I, I, I can't orgasm unless I have my little friend. I was like, how am I supposed to compete with that, you know? It's like, am I supposed to hop into bed and be like, <laughs> you getting close? I'm getting nauseous up here. I'm gonna hock up a hairball here in a second. <laughs> it's 
It's a horny crowd. All right, cool. I always look at me. I'm married now, but I also, I'll always look at beautiful women, man. But I realize my tastes are changing. Cause I saw this girl the other day. She had been like 20 or 21. She's wearing a skin tight mini skirt, like the pumps, the skin tight top, bare midriff, cleavage hanging out, and then across her chest, in glittery letters, it said "Guess." I was like, "Whore." <laughs> that's my guess. I mean, the research, but that's my first guess, you know. I don't want to be negative about it, though, man, because there's too many negative people, man. Twitter, everything, they're negative. All over Facebook, negative, man. You can't even do anything anymore without somebody making a negative comment about it, man. You try to eat better, people will be like, you're a health nut. Go to church every day, you're a Jesus freak. Give the woman you love all the attention she deserves. They call you a stalker. I thought it meant you were focused. I thought women liked that. Stalking's illegal, by the way. Yeah. 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 I, was, I was surprised too. <laughs> They'll arrest you for that. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not built for jail, so. <laughs> Learned that on cable. I'm like, so obsessed with jail in this country and making TV shows about it. I was watching Lock Up Raw with my brother one time. He was trying to scare me. He's like, yo, man, you ever go to prison, you better join a gang. I was like, I don't know anything about gangs. Like, I did West Side Story in high school, but I don't think that. <laughs> constitutes gang experience, man. I don't think being a jet for four weeks is gonna help out much. There's a ride in the yard, you know? You don't bring this to a fight, you know what I mean? Like, that's like... That's all I got, man. Imagine that first day out, like, you just mess with the wrong dude. <laughs> Plenty of flavor left in this lollipop, T-bone. Bring it on me. Fucking bring it. <laughs> I wish I was a badass just once in my life. I don't scare people, man. I really don't, man. It's like, here's how unscary I actually am. I'm in a dark parking garage a few months ago. Beautiful young woman coming down the steps. I'm going up the steps, made eye contact, and never once did she look at me like, oh, this man might hurt me or rob me. She looked at me like, oh, this poor kid lost his mom. <laughs> That's insulting. I was like, I don't even scare you a little bit. She's like, don't worry, we'll find her. <laughs> Weird thing was, we did. <laughs> I'm glad to be out of the dating scene, though, man. It was just like, you know, there's too many fake people in the dating scene. People don't present themselves correctly in the dating scene, man. I was like, I went out with a woman one time a few years ago. She tried to tell me she was a vegetarian. She wasn't, man. She was like, she got all arrogant with me. She's like, just so you know, I'm a vegetarian. But I will eat chicken if it's a special occasion. <laughs> I was like, just so you know, I'm monogamous, but I will cheat if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> She's not a vegan, though, man. A friend of mine is a vegan, man. He eats so healthy, he looked like he was dying, man. I was like, <laughs> my friend Tom is totally vegan. He does Bikram yoga, runs marathons. He's got this sick, gaunt look on his face, right? And he brags, like, hey, man, I haven't eaten meat in 10 years. I'm like, look, I haven't fucking eaten anything in 10 years, man. <laughs> Looks half dead. Took me to an organic health food store. Everyone looked dead. It was like the thriller video in there, man. I was like, <laughs> it's like, excuse me, where's the soy milk? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> You guys are awesome. My name is Brian Chicago. Thank you very much. <laughs>